The Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension is making a first of its kind call to families of the missing. A forensic scientist within the state recently received federal money to test more human remains against the missing persons database. Now, in order to identify these people, they're hoping more family members of the missing will volunteer their DNA at a series of events across Minnesota. Here's Nina Moyni. Clearly, there are more families out there and more answers to be had. It's scientific work that happens in a laboratory. But the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension's Catherine Knudsen knows every set of remains tested belongs to a person who was loved. The testing procedure is, is relatively personal. Um, we're dealing with remains here, and they treat them with, that, with the, uh, the, the respect that they deserve. The BCA believes remains from five unknown people exhumed last year in Minnesota have a strong chance of being identified through their DNA profiles. But they need families with missing loved ones to come forward to find a match. Many of these people were discovered decades ago before DNA testing was available. That's why we've set up a series of opportunities across the state of Minnesota for family members of missing persons to provide DNA samples for comparison with those unidentified person profiles in the national database. BCA Superintendent Drew Evans says there are 100 unidentified remains in Minnesota, 550 people missing at any time in the state, and 11,000 people reported missing each year. There are others like these five buried without names, with no answers for their loved ones who have searched for them for many years. The hope is that by growing the DNA database for relatives of the missing, they can identify more remains and give the people who desperately need them answers. And the DNA sample takes just about a minute. It's just a simple swab of the cheek. You can't mail them in because the BCA wants to make sure the DNA is from the correct person. So actually going to one of these events is key. We have information on those events and what to do if it happens that you can't make any of them, Frank. And, and you know, this might sound weird, I mean, but you have to have someone officially be reported as missing to take part in this? Right. It's actually an important question because it's an important designation for investigators. And the answer is no. The first thing the BCA will do when you come in there is determine if your loved one has already been entered as a missing person with any law enforcement agency, from that point on, they can decide if that's something they need to do, even if it's been as long as 30 or so years, they told me. So wow. this is for people who may not have gone to the authorities even before, but may know that there's someone that they love who's missing. All right. Maybe they'll put some stuff together. Yeah. Thanks, Nina.